Hi, my name is Simon from 5dfusion.com. I have here the Cinovate Atlas 10, the larger version, and I will show you how I use it, what hardware I use it with, what tripod, what tripod head, and show you some cool nifty tricks that I've discovered that you can do with it. What we have here today is the uh, Cinovate Atlas 10, and I have mounted on here a 701 video head. It's a ball bearing system, ultra smooth. You do hear it, but. And what I'm going to show you today is how I use it and how I switch which tripod I use, tripod head, and how I get it from vertical to horizontal and so forth. So, as you can see, it's ultra smooth. There's a small break here when you don't use it. And there are also all terrain legs that come that you can order additionally. What's also very nice about it is that it comes in two sizes, and if you want to travel a lot and you want to take it on an airplane, you can order the smaller size, or if you just like it because you travel and you go in smaller places and you don't want the bigger footprint you you can probably you'll have to talk to Dennis from Cinevade or someone there uh, you can probably order maybe just a track so you can actually have both sizes if you do a lot of more studio work but once in a while travel you can use the smaller size it's basically very simple you take off the two sides here and here you take this carriage out and basically slide it in and then you can use a smaller size and this will fit much easier into a suitcase it's a little bit lighter this guy is around six pounds and this is around eight to ten pounds so a little heavier but ultra ultra solid Very amazing amazingly solid and ultra smooth as you can tell next I will show you how I connect this to a tripod and how I shoot both vertical and horizontal with it very easy. Uh, the other, the nice thing about it is I know people from the forums uh, always looking into which tripod head do I need for what purpose. Now yes, a, a nice fluid head for video work is important but um, for slider work you need a head that can support the weight and be rock solid and for that though you don't necessarily have to spend as much money I went with uh, the Davis and Sanford head it's not a ball head because I had an older tripod from photography work which is very solid and takes up to 30 pounds and a lot of you people who are photographers might have good solid photography tripod and may just want to use the thread the head that goes onto a thread head and therefore this was about a hundred dollars and I will show you in a minute how it's solid and it supports the weight of the slider the heavier one and for sure the other ones and what's nice about it you'll see how I can go from vertical to horizontal very easily and therefore it's low cost and very effective when you receive the Atlas 10 it comes with a plate connected here on the bottom it's supposed to make it easier for you to connect a uh, tripod but the way they did it is that it will you will be it's an it's a good plate to connect to a tripod meaning a tripod plate or necessary or directly to a tripod if you like but it's meant to be shifted this way up or down. Uh, what I like to do is because I would like to either go from horizontal to vertical or maybe even use it as a small jib, I wanted to connect the uh, tripod plate, Manfrotto plate that I have, I'm showing it to you with this plate just so you can, I wanted to connect it this way. And that is for a few reasons. If you're going to center mount it on the tripod you want to make sure 
that it doesn't move once you have the camera on it. Now I've had cheaper sliders and I had cheaper mounting options where I saw right away that if you don't have it connected a certain way it will move a little and give a little. Um, so I figured out a way that you can do it and it will not budge. The other thing that I know that I've spoken to a um, different manufacturer of, of slider and and uh, they were advising to buy their head for this kind of work but in any case the reason was he was saying that if you have just one connection to the tripod plate and you're using a lot of weight at the ends at some point you will start uh, stripping the actual thread in this case it will be this plate which is easily re replaceable that is assuming that's how you connect it but in any case what I found to be a better solution is if I connect the plate directly to the bottom of the Atlas 10 and I actually connect it with two screws so it does not give you that disadvantage and it's much stronger now let's connect it to the head right here so basically I have here slider connected and this comes with two arms I just need to move it out of the way so I can secure the head right here basically if you want to use this these handles to either assist you as far as moving it around or for up and down as you'll see soon and also for going from vertical to horizontal you might need to have them out of the way in any case let me just get them out of the way here and then I will show you how solid this tripod is basically you make sure it's in, in horizontal I might be a little bit off right now but it doesn't matter as much for this um, review in any case basically rock solid no movement whatsoever let's put on a camera let's stop it from rotating at the head and basically same thing over here and basically I have a very smooth what I always forget is to get rid of the strap I'm always scared I like to have it around my neck but in this case the strap will get in your way a lot so basically here we go you need to go forward and backwards quick rotate and some kind of movement during the shoots you can do that awesome all right let's see if we can show you how to switch quickly from vertical to horizontal I will take the camera out don't want any accidents so there's a few ways to do it I actually figured that out. I know on some of these uh, videos they sh from manufacturers they show you that you really need um, a different head if you're going to shoot horizontal or vertical. They suggest you use something like this. It depends on this slider. I think it will work too. I haven't tried it out right now. I will show it to you later how it works with this one if, for people who want to use that instead. I actually worked it out that I can use it with the actual video head so you don't have to take off the video head which I kind of like very much um, 
and it gives you a few ways that you can do it. The only thing that it will require is this plate. I actually have now a different quick release on here, but I will show you how to attach this plate to the camera and then you'll be able to slide it in very nicely. So, let's talk about getting it to from horizontal to vertical. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use the same video head, just easier, and it does it very nice. So, anyway, the tripod that I'm using here, I mentioned earlier, is a photography tripod that I've had a, quite a while. Um, here I have the uh, model number 3233. I think it may have been replaced with a newer model. It's uh, the, the nice thing about it, it has the um, lever here and you can go up to higher heights. In my case, I lift it a little bit. I release on the head the lever on my fluid head. Important thing, don't do what I do all the time forget to put on the brake. So basically you release the lever here for the tension of the fluid head, you turn it nicely over and because I lifted it up it doesn't interfere here with the center post and basically it's in perfect vertical position. Now the actual video head you make sure there's two sides that you can turn it to. One has the lever that if you're using this particular one, the 701 or maybe a 501 you have to check yourself. Um, this is lever here that locks the rotation. If you, if you try to do it to this side it will not turn all the way. But the other side basically will turn to perfect horizontal, I guess in this case horizontal, so you can use it in vertical position. Um, now getting to the camera, basically if you had your plate connected this way to your camera, you basically just take out the plate. In this case I have the wrong screw. Let me go get the right screw and I will be right back. Okay we're back. Anyway, I uh, put in the right screw, which is the quarter twenty as opposed to three eighths, and instead of I just switch it quickly to be alongside the camera. And now, if I did it right, which I didn't, let me do it one more time. I have to switch it so it is in the right direction. Okay. And um, one more second. Here we go. I basically now can just slide it in. Secure it on this side. they show that with the other heads. They put it this way but then you don't see the screen. So in my case, the way I have it done, you see the screen beautifully. You could try, you could do it the other way around. And basically in this case you have to reach around and hold it this way. So you have both options, whichever way you prefer. 